when you're setting up your hive, you always start at the floor. The floor of this hive has a tray that's used to gather all the debris that falls through the mesh. We can access the floor through the back of the floor. It also has an entrance at the front. This is where the bees go in and out of the hive. So this is the front of the hive. Then we take our entrance block. This entrance block is plastic. It's nice and slim and it has this mouse guard attached. We put the mouse guard in for the winter time and that's to stop mice from getting into the hive. It sits right down a little slot in the floor of the hive, just at the front. Then we take our brood box. The brood box is the deeper of the two boxes. This is where the queen lives and we also have all the brood in this box. You'll see there's a little hole in the hive here. That's where we put these little plugs that come with the hive. That just goes in here and it keeps the bees nice and warm for the year. That goes to the front and you'll see that on the side there are handles to lift it. Next we take a queen excluder. This is to stop the queen from coming from the brood box up into the super. We like these ones because they have a nice wooden frame and they're round metal wires. That goes over the brood box. Then we can put our supers when the time is right. They also have the little plug and they sit this way. This is where all the honey will be. So you'll see that they're a shallower box. And on top of your supers go the crown board. The crown board is like this. This crown board has five ventilation holes. Some crown boards only have two. With this one, you can use a flat head screwdriver to take the middle ventilation hole out. We find that easy to then give the bees a feed of syrup with a feeder or fondant in a bag. And we can just lay it over the top of this hole and the bees can access it. Don't take out the other ventilation plugs though. And then on top of the ventilation plugs we can have these covers. The cover is important because when we have the middle plug taken out we can simply put the cover over it and it stops the bees from coming into the roof space which is really important. So we put those on. When it gets really warm in summertime, we can take those off again. And the last part is the lid. We like this lid because it has a little lip right in here, which acts as an eek, so that when we give the bees some fondant in winter, we can lay the bag flat and we don't need to add any extra equipment. So it sits right up on top, like that, and that's our hive.